Hi. Yes, sir. I know you're busy. I just wanted to tell you that uh, I totally support uh, the the proposition on the convertibility thing. I've talked to George Schultz, and Stein is lined up. If there's any question about it. But Arthur let the cat out of the bag when he said he was talking about convertibility. That's right. And so uh, what we do about it, John, I don't know, but I just thought you should know that we're going to stand absolutely firm. If I'm ever asked about it, or if you think I can say something, I'll say something. All right. Because, God uh, damn it, we're just not going to allow I don't it. think it's in much point. I put it off. They had a meeting today, and I just told them to, you know, just delay and talk and be nice. Right. And have right. Right. Talk about something else and say, well, right. let's consider other possibilities. Right. I told them just keep talking, but it gives yeah. you nothing. Yeah, now, on the Canadian side, my view is that, and uh, there's no hurry on this, but uh, uh, you might, uh, as you say, talk to Henry tomorrow and just, just say, now look here, we've got to do these tough things, and we, because I, I have another reason for doing it. I think that doing something to Canada may be an indication to the Japanese and the Europeans and other places that we're not going to be pushed right. around. This is why it's important. Otherwise, see, we don't have that much to talk to them about. Right. And we don't need them to give us that much, but it, they ought to do something. Right. But the, the problem is, if they don't do anything, that that's going to be a clear signal. Right. Because they did absolutely nothing uh, on right. the alignment, you see. They floated. Yep. They made no contribution. Yep. Now, if they don't do anything on trade, it's just going to be a clear indication to the rest of the world that... Uh, no, they can just, they yeah. can just stand firm. And, the, and they're our biggest customer. That's right. Okay. Well, uh, that's that's my feeling. And now, what is involved here, John, is that I will, I and I'm prepared to use the bullet, too. Uh, what I'll do is to uh, just screw around on the visit to Trudeau and say, gee, I'm so tied up getting prepared for Russia. I can't do it right now. Mm. Just put it off. Don't you agree? That's great. Because, you see, once we do these things, as I pointed out, uh, there'll be the, the damned uh, Canadians, uh, some of those people, they'll stir up uh, tickets and this and that, and, I, and, and, and frankly, I'm just not going to tolerate that from these people. Well, we'll uh, we don't have to do anything right now, except we'll be up testifying probably uh, right. within the next two weeks, and right. I'll play it cool, of course, and just say, yeah. oh, we have worked out an agreement with Canada, right. uh, but uh, at the same time, I want you to know what the situation was and what, what it's yeah. developing into, because... Yeah. Uh, we're we're going to have a tough year. We've got lots of trading with these people. Right. Yep. Right. On the on the gold thing, uh, you're in charge of that, right? and and you just do what you think is on the timing. So you know, uh, I've always I know the game we're playing, and as I understand it, you're gonna you're gonna push the trade thing. Uh, I mean, I, I'm sorry, not the trade thing, but the well, gold thing. Uh, that, right. that, we're going as, as just uh, as really as early as we can. We we were delaying maybe a week on the things just to get them over with. Right. We're going on with a gold thing. But, you know, he, he just pontificates every now and then and, and acts as if he's the only one that's... Ever thought of these things. Yeah, that ever thought of them or that's looking after the United yeah. States interests. Well, hell... Uh, yeah, I know. I, every now and then I just get... Every now and then we, some of the rest of us look at too. Well, I just wanted you to know that uh, yeah, George and I had a talk and uh, we, we, we've, got, uh, we've got Stein, George, and naturally I are... We're all lined up together, John, and... But with Arthur, we uh, we just got to, well, I don't know. We uh, just play it, and it's tough uh, because he, he does talk. He talks to these central bankers. Also, that undercuts you. Sure. Now, the other point sure. that George made to me, which I think is somewhat reassuring, George says as long as we do not have convertibility, he says the Europeans can't do all that much to us. They can't. Because he says when we had convertibility, then they had a right to lecture us That's about right. what we ought to do. But That's with correct. convertibility... Uh, without convertibility, that they that is not the case, and that we just shouldn't get all that excited about the yeah, fact that they worry about our budget. Is that your view? That's exactly right. They can't do one cockeyed thing, and they'll say, oh, well, we've got to maintain our relations. We've asked them to hold dollars. And I said, no, we didn't ask them to hold dollars. They've held dollars. It's been in their interest to hold dollars. That's right. And I said, uh, hell with them. I am. I'm not worried about right. them. I'm worried about us. That's right. And, um... You know, it's, it's, right. you go through the same old thing again. Right. I just, That's uh, right. Well, we're doing fine on it. I and then I think we should talk that the fact that things are coming along, and sure, it takes time, and the Congress has got a lot on its plate, but we're going to push the gold right. thing and the rest, and we're going to get our trade, and we're going to do that, and make the best out of how, whatever we get out of it. 
So I just want you to know that right. <laughs> after the meeting, that uh, that's, that's my conviction at least. All right. On a lighter note, I, I, when I got back to the office, I saw a, a little secret memorandum where they informed me, I, my intelligence people informed me that, that India had just made a grant to Bangladesh of 13 million pounds sterling. God, that's 50 which, million dollars. Uh, 30 million. 30 million. Bucks. So I wrote Henry a little note. And I said, and told him that uh, I understood that India just made a grant of $30 million to, to Bangladesh. And I said, if she's got money like this to give away, why are we giving aid to India? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's great. That's great. Henry ought to come in to me tomorrow. He'll be, he'll be mortified. And he'll say, do you think, do you think the secretary really thinks this? And I'm going to say, he sure does. He called me about it, Henry. And he's enraged that you would have done this without telling him. Okay? Yes, sir. That's a game I'm going to play with him. And okay. play, it, play it right out. Okay? Uh, all right. All right, John. Thank you. Hey, John. Yes, sir. Uh, the Ryland's coming down. You go over there today now. Well, I can't. I'm, uh, I'm at to the airport. Oh. I'm going to Richmond to make a speech oh. tonight to the okay. Chamber of Commerce. Uh, oh, well. Oh, that's definitely. They're great fellows. And so you might. Uh, I uh, I went down to Richmond, and I was a congressman, believe me, believe it or not, and spoke to, uh, I know, the Chamber of Commerce or Rotary Club, and, well, and, and they gave me a wonderful I'll reception. And you just exchange your get and say that I have such fond memories of, of Richmond and great people and so forth. And for Christ's sakes, don't come out for busing. I know how strong you are for it, but don't. <laughs> All right. I will All right. Publicly come out for it. Okay, John. All right. Thank you.